The Three Mile Secret of Antarctica? Nova was a little girl with big, curious eyes and an even bigger question. How thick is the ice at the bottom of the world? She stood at the edge of the great white continent, Antarctica, wrapped in a bright red snowsuit. Suddenly, a stately emperor penguin waddled up. Hello, my name is Kilo, he announced with a cheerful squawk, and I know the answer. The average ice here is thicker than you can possibly imagine. Really? Nova asked, her eyes wide. Is it as thick as a house? Kilo chuckled. Try a giant skyscraper. On average, the ice here is about 2.16 kilometers thick. That's 1.34 miles. It's like a wall of ice towering over every building in Manhattan, Nova squinted. A whole city under the ice? I need to see that, Kilo smiled. Well, we can't see under the ice, but we can look up. Let's think about how high a wall of ice that would be. They set off on a journey. Kilo told her, now that 2.16 kilometers is just the average. In one special place, the ice is even deeper. It's called Terra Adeli, and it holds the record. How much deeper could it be? Nova wondered aloud. A little bit? Kilo stopped and took a deep, frosty breath. The ice in Terra Deli is a staggering 4,776 meters thick. Nova gasped. 4,776 meters. That's almost five kilometers, Kilo. How big is that in real life? She tried to picture it, but the number was just too huge. It's almost three miles of solid ice, Kilo explained. Imagine three of the longest school buses parked end to end. Now imagine 1,500 of them stacked high, one on top of the other, reaching the sky. That's how high that ice would be. Nova stared at the endless white. This mountain of ice wasn't made in a day. Kilo told her that it had taken millions of years of tiny snowfalls, one on top of the other, to pile up so high. Nova smiled, pulling her hood closer. She no longer saw just a flat, white landscape. She saw a quiet, frozen mountain, taller than any skyscraper, full of secrets, and built patiently, flake by flake, over millions of years. Antarctica was truly the land of wonder.